guys ready? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> We're the Kate Hino Trio. This song is called The Road. Desert parlor, black tags, and a reverend holler. Some dreams are a fading blast, and between there's a certain past, and oh, we stumbled out. The next contestant waiting in your sea of madness. No fear, they don't see your sadness. So we stumble down. Thank you. We're going to do one uh, by a friend of mine back in Detroit. His name is Jay Allen Thomas. We released an album and uh, have a bunch of other Detroit songwriters on it, and I like to always give them credit, and I never want to claim it as my own, uh, but they let me borrow it. We're doing two of those uh, local songwriters tonight, but this is Jay Allen Thomas. The song is called Dresden Leather.
Thank you. <laughs> so every song we're doing today actually is on our album that we released in March. Some of them are written by me, like this one. Yep, we have it for sale here if you want to talk to us after and grab it. It's called Near. And uh, I titled it that because we were very near and very tight during a time when uh, a lot of people couldn't be. Uh, so the whole album was recorded, well, most of the album was recorded in 2020. And then we released it in March of 2021. And it made us closer and uh, certainly under the circumstances. So that's why it's called that. This one's called Make Me Stop.
talk to you But I won't give up If you'd had enough You'd do anything To make me stop When you feel like waking up We'll go everywhere Thank you. We are the Kate Hainaut Trio. Thank you for listening. That's um, Matthew Parmenter on violin there. That's David Johnson on acoustic guitar. My name is Kate Hainaut. <laughs> Thank you. All right, this next one's, uh, I wrote this one. It's called Moon Draws Water. And I was on a trip in Florida, and I was reading To Kill a Mockingbird, and there was a, I guess technically I stole this a little bit. All right. Uh, I was inspired, for sure. I read it in the course of three days. I read the whole book, and I hadn't, written, I hadn't uh, read it since high school, I think. But uh, anyway, there's a character in the book, and I can't even remember her name now, because my I'm older now. My brain is garbage. But... Um, there's a character in the book that they talk about, they don't get it, they're the young kids and they don't get it, why people are drawn to this woman, but like everyone in their town is drawn to this woman and she, this particular character does not get it, doesn't understand And I had a friend, and I know people like that, where you're just like, I don't get it. Uh, and then I figured, maybe that's me for some people. Uh, so it's just, I think, a common theme where you're just, some people you're just drawn to, and I had someone that I was like drawn to and I couldn't get away from. Moon draws water. Thank you. 
silence While waiting for nothing She gave me a Thank you. I usually have a drink stand with me. We actually just have a couple more. This one is uh, it's written by uh, an amazing songwriter, a friend of mine named Emily Rose. She has won several Detroit Music Awards. She's terrific. Uh, she had this song, it's called Quick. And it was the first song I saw her that really, like, I fell in love with her in that moment. And I think I openly wept in front of her, uh, if I remember correctly. If not that time, another time. Uh, <laughs> because I liked it so much. And then she released an album, and she didn't put it on it. And I was mad at her about it. And I told her so several times. And she finally just said, well, do you want it? And I just said, oh, OK, yes. So she let me record this, and we have it on our album. And we don't get to do it for uh, attentive, quiet audiences very often, so that will be nice. That's good. For you, I made myself into a shooting star. Or you could go Or you 
Thank you. Thank you. See, when she did it, it's her song. It's very emotional. Although she had a little bit of a different meaning for it. Mine's more like abandonment, and hers was more like abandoning. <laughs> but that's all right. That's what music's about. Yeah. It is. It's the obvious take, yes. All right, we're going to do one more. This one is actually the first song that Matthew and I wrote together. This was the first original composition for our trio, so it is on our album. Uh, we were very excited to include a, an original piece on, of it, on it. Most of it was, like I said, other local Detroit songwriters, friends of mine, and uh, a few of my own. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you to Hell's Half Mile for including us and having us here. Uh, we we uh, were playing in Bay City again soon. We, Want to keep coming back here? We like it here. It's a cool place. Thank you, Don, specifically. Uh, this one's called Where You Dream Now.
Thank you so much. We're the Kate Hino Trio. You come talk to us. We've got a mailing list and just over there if anybody wants to chat. Thanks so much. We're gonna do, uh, we'll do one more, because we like this one. Are we allowed to do a cover? All right, it's a standard, they barely count. Everybody does them. Yeah. We're gonna do a, uh, is this Billy? Billy, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, this was made famous by Billy Holiday. Okay, good, that version. <laughs> Uh-oh, no fat lips. Uh, so, this one I actually learned about from a video game called Fallout. Anybody play Fallout? All right, yeah. There's usually one, yep. There's one in every crowd. There's usually one in every crowd. Uh, it's called Crazy He Calls Me. It didn't die, did it? No, okay, there we go. I, I turned it off on account of I thought we were done. Yeah. He was tricked.
you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That one is fun to sing, for sure.